You have, I think. So now, uh, we are in the Church of Nativity, and before the Church of Nativity was built, the first Christian people used to come pray, worship in secret, down in the stable where Jesus Christ was born, because Christianity wasn't legal at that time. But in 135 AD, when the Roman Emperor Hadrian came, Emperor Hadrian denied Christianity. And Emperor Hadrian wants the people to forget the place where Jesus was born. For that reason, Emperor Hadrian brought a statue for Adam, still blood for the Roman, to be worshipped in the place where Jesus was born. So that statue remained there about 200 years, till 326 AD. So 326 AD, when Christianity became legal in the Roman Empire, Emperor Constantine sent his mother, Queen Helen, to build many churches in the Holy Land. One is the Church of Nativity, which was built over the place where Jesus Christ was born. So Queen Helen, she removed the statue of Adonis, marked the birthplace, and built the Church of Nativity over. Unfortunately, the Church of Nativity was destroyed by the Samaritan during the revolution which happened against the Roman in 529. For that reason, when Emperor Justinian came, 542, Emperor Justinian ordered to rebuild the Church of Nativity on the same site a little bit later. So in 614, when the Persians came to the Holy Land, so the Persians, they destroyed all the churches and monasteries, except the Church of Nativity, they did it. Why? Because when they arrived the Church of Nativity to destroy it, they saw on the facet of the church a mosaic for the wise man who came when Jesus was born. So one of the wise men with the Persians uniform, that's why the Persians thought that the church belonged to them and they didn't destroy it. So we consider it one of the oldest Byzantine church still used as a church, 1,500 years old. 638 when the Muslim came, some of the churches destroyed, others converted to mosques. But the Church of Nativity, they didn't, because according to their belief, Jesus is prophet, and he is the last one before Muhammad. But at that time, the church was in very bad condition, till the Crusades came in the 4th century. So when the Crusades came, churches improved a lot, especially in decoration. So all the wall of the church was covered with mosaic. But which remains from that mosaic, as you see, the church is under restoration, but you still can see part of that mosaic, you see, up there. Oh, under the classic <coughs> line on it. Yeah. So, this beautiful, this beautiful mosaic here, you see, this is the original floor of the Church of Nativity. It's Come on! From 300... I need to be very close to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we can talk. <laughs> so, this beautiful mosaic here yeah. is the original yeah. Amazing. floor yeah. of the Church of Nativity. It looks like color carpet. It's yeah. from 326 AD. But when Justinian ordered to rebuild the church, they covered the mosaic. And an archaeologist discovered this mosaic only in 1936. During this happened in this area. So imagine how busy is the Church of Nativity in the fourth century when the whole floor of the church was covered with mosaic. So since the 18th century, the Church of Nativity divided into three churches because they were too much complex between the different Christian groups about the right to take care of the church. That's why the Ottoman. In the 18th century, they made the strategy to give pride for different Christian groups to share the Church of Nativity. So since then, they divided the church to three churches. Greek Orthodox is the main one, which all had carved, decoration, icons, and beer. Mostly directed from Russia, Armenian, and Roman Catholic, I will take you to see now. So please, you take your picture, then I'll take you to see the Armenian and the Roman Catholic.